trying to kill me. Me? No. Then what is that over there? Right by the stairs? On the stairs? Th they're my skates. What are they doing there? That is the most dangerous place in the world to put them. Sorry. Sorry is not good enough. You've got a place to keep your things. Why aren't you using it? I just, I just forgot. Yeah, well, you forget again and I'll start taking them away. You understand that? I could have been very seriously hurt. Rick, it was just a mistake. Well, it is a mistake that is not going to occur again in this house. Do I make myself clear? I didn't mean it, Doc Gray. What is the matter with you? You're impossible lately. If you can't stand being around us, if you can't stand the way we behave, why do you bother coming home? He didn't have to yell at me. I know, sweetheart. He's just tired. But he just got up. No, I, I meant he's been working hard, you know, and that's why he's tired, and that's why he yelled at you. But I didn't leave my skates on purpose. I know that. And so does he. He sounded like I wanted to hurt him. Oh, no, honey. He doesn't mean that. He didn't have to be so mean. No, well, maybe now is when you find out that grown-ups are not always perfect. Well, they should be. They've had a lot more practice. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't always work out that way, though. He should have been nicer to me. Well, I'll tell you. I think you've got a point. But I also think you're not being very fair. Me? Uh-huh. When was the last time that you figured that Rick jumped all over you for no reason? I don't know. Take a guess. Not very many. Maybe like practically never? Yeah. But that's what I don't get. I thought... I thought he loved me. Oh, Mike, he does love you. I love you. <laughs> Michael Weber, you know perfectly well that we both love you very much. Dark Greek's gonna be mad at me for a long time. Well, see, you say that because you don't know what he said to me this morning. What did he say? Oh, he, it was nothing. It was just, you know, how he thought probably uh, you would really like to go next door to the Johnsons and, and sleep out with the boys in their tent. And what did you say? Oh, I just said, you know, I'd think about it. Can I, Mom, let's see? Well, see, Rick said that he thought it was a good idea because he knew how much he wanted to do it. Uh, well, I really want it more than anything. Well, he said, Rick, that is, Rick said that he thought, you know, that it was a good idea because the weather is going to be so good. When? Tonight. Tonight? Mm-hmm. I, I could sleep at the Johnson's tonight? Well, you know, if you wanted to do it another night. No! Are you sure about that? I'm positive. Can I? Please? Please, Mama, see? Well... Oh, I guess so. Yay! But only if the Johnsons say it's okay. Thanks. You're welcome. But I didn't think you guys would let me sleep over. Why not? Because of all the wild animals and everything. Oh, right. Yeah, well, that sort of slipped my mind. The Johnson's yard does become a jungle when the sun sets. You're not going to change your mind, are you? Oh, Shaw. No, I figure you're tough enough and mean enough to fight off some backyard jungle beasts. I sure am. What do I tell the Johnson's? I'm going over there right now and tell them, okay, my Lucy? Okay. Happy hunting. Here, shut a cork in it, both of you. What is the matter with this whole family? Everybody take ugly pills this morning? Why is everybody snapping at everybody else? It's my turn for the car tonight. But no, Paris has got no, the no, idea. No, 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 no. She had it the last two nights in a row. You had it last, and I can prove it. Oh, I can't wait to do this. How? Just smell the front seat. Say what? I, I know it was coming on for a while, but it's finally happened. She's gone. She's, she's not. She's flipped now. I suppose it was me that spilled french fries and ketchup all over the front seat. What? No, wait, 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 wait. That was a mistake. Besides, that was weeks ago, Amy. I'm sorry. I thought that car smelled funny. Mm, ah, it's her perfume. That's the only way she can get guys to go out with her. She's got to smell like you, dinner. You are cruising. You are asking for it now. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to settle this whole thing right here. You may both have the car. 
Huh? What? Well, how's that supposed to work out? You both take it at the same time. You mean, no, he gets it for 20 minutes and then I get it for the rest of the night. No. No, I meant that you both get it at the same time. There. What is, what is this for? Uh, it's for dinner. I want you two guys to go out to dinner at the rib on me, my treat. Okay? Wait, 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 wait. Why? Don't ask. Just don't come back home before 10 o'clock. Oh, I think someone's trying to get rid of us, Amy. Mm -hmm. Gosh, Blackie, I wonder why. I think it could be a romance. I think you're right. So, where is it written that you guys get to have all the fun? So what, is this a bribe here, or do I have to go to more severe means? I think we should hold out for more money, don't you? Yeah. I think if we do, we'll be pushing our luck. Mm -hmm. well, what about your date, Amy? I didn't say I had a date, you did. All right, all right, okay, we'll go. Dinner will be good. I don't know about the company. Blackie, <clears throat> could you do me one small, small favor? Yeah, what? Wear a bag over your head so that nobody sees I'm out with you. That's, that's funny. Thank you. That's real funny, Amy. All right, what about the car? Watch my lips. You got it, both of you. No, 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 I mean right now. I gotta run some errands for Luke. Oh, okay. Yes, you may borrow it. Thank you. Thanks, we'll see you guys later. Paris, Jerry. What? Don't forget to pick me up. Oh, Amy, would I do a thing like that, me? Oh, you probably would if you thought you could get away with it, but... I got the money. I'll be back. I know. chest pains? Two weeks. Three specific occurrences. Any other symptoms? Yeah, I let everybody's head off. I mean, I'm uh, very irritable, especially to members of my own family, and I just can't control it. What do you think? Well, I think that I would tell you possibly the same thing you tell me. Bore me, please, Monica. I would be a fool if I took my own diagnosis, please. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, fine. Why don't we just uh, review your lifestyle for the past several months? Hmm? Now, let me see. You've been handling about three jobs, the university, the clinic, and the hospital, and three children that you've been trying to raise. Also, uh, within that, you've also had to deal with Alice Grant's death. Now, does anything in there ring a bell to you, sir? Well, I'd say there's a very good possibility it could be anxiety. I would hope that's all it would be. Monica, you know as well as I do that a cardiac condition could in actuality many times just be tension, pressure, or worrying, Absolute, too many responsibilities, yes. personal problems. Of course it is, working too long and too hard, yes. So I do fit that uh, type, don't I? Exhibit A. Why don't you just lecture yourself around the country? All right, what do you suggest? What are you saying, that I should get a lot of rest? If you had time off, and you had a vacation, now listen to me, if you had a vacation, what would you do? I'd go fishing. Yeah? yeah a long fishing trip. And if Jeff was available, I would invite him, just be the two of us. And when he come back, if you still have any of these symptoms, then uh, you can be sure I shall give you a complete rundown. Then you're thinking that this is a warning. What do you think? I think that's exactly what I would like it to be. Well, I think a couple of days, no, oh, quite a few days. In the wilds, by a stream, with a fishing pole, getting lots of fish. Might just uh, be the cure. Well, I sure don't want to argue with that type of logic. And I'm sure that uh, Grant will take over your classes at the university. And all I'd really have to do would be to get permission from Steve, talk to Leslie, and call Jeff. And I don't foresee any problems whatsoever. <laughs> Doctor, that is a fantastic prescription, that fishing trip. Huh? I think so. Thank you. Anytime. I, uh, I feel better already. Monica, please don't mention this to anybody, especially the uh, chest pains, and especially not the last night. On one condition. You bring me back some fish. 
You haven't seen Rick around anywhere, have you? Now, why? Is there something wrong? I don't know. I'm worried about him. Why? I don't, he's just... He's not like himself lately. He's barking at everybody. He's snapping at the kids. I think he's working much too hard, and I think all he's got to do is just ease off and slow down for a while. Wonderful. Go tell him that. He doesn't know what the word vacation means. Well, at least he has a family that supports him. For all the good it's doing him. Believe me, it does good. He may not act it, but it does an awful lot of good. Mm. Honest to goodness, there is nothing more important in this world to a man than having a family that supports him. Are you complaining about yours? No, not at all. I'm just... I can't get Jason off my mind. I'm very, very worried about him because I can't find a family environment, someone that will love and that will care for him to look after him. Uh, you know, something like, you know, like your family. What? Well, I'm, I'm only saying you and Rick seem to have an absolutely perfect home life, that's you all. You haven't been around lately. Believe me, that's only temporary. I, I would give anything in the world for that little baby to be in a family situation like yours. Hang on here. Alan, come out with it. Are you asking me to take on Jason? No, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I know you're already swamped. Alan, I am. I swear to you. I had to get three kids out of the house today just so that I could have two hours at home alone with my husband. At least they got a home to come back to. Yes, well, for the moment, anyway. Well, I don't know what to do with Jason. I really don't know what to do with him at all. I certainly... I just can't see myself trusting him to Heather. No, I know what you mean. I'll tell you what. If you do come up with any ideas at all, I'd be very, very grateful. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll give it some thought. and See what I can come up with, and I'll let you know. Thank and I'll you. see you later. Okay.